In this video, we're going to be having a look at the heads-up display. The heads-up display is used to provide a visualization of the progress within the workflow of an incident. Across the top, we can see the different stages, and underneath each stage, we can see checkpoints of which are either completed or yet to be done. The heads-up display is configured within the administration tool. By selecting the application, going to workflow, and selecting the business processes, we can now open up one of our existing uh, business process workflows. Now again across the top we see our stages. For each stage we can select and then go to the configuration options. For each uh, stage we can now provide a list of st uh, stage checkpoints. We'll start by adding a new checkpoint here. So I'm going to add uh, my first one as assigned and my second one is going to be priority set and I'm going to add a third and last one in and this is going to be for uh, the user being notified by an email. So now we can add these uh, checkpoints within this process. So we see here the node for assigning and once that's been complete, so in the following node, we can now set that checkpoint. And once allocated, you'll see that a, a tag icon is now displayed on the node where the checkpoint is set. Now the next uh, checkpoint is the priority. So after the priority work has been done, again we want to select the following node and from the pick list select the priority set. And again we see the, uh, the label icon. And last but not least we want to uh, have the checkpoint for the notification to the customer. And moving to the uh, next stage, again, we can provide our uh, list of uh, available checkpoints. So in this case, I'm just going to have a fix available as my first checkpoint. And the second one is going to be the users accepted th that, that particular fix. And so there's our investigation node. So following the investigation being completed, um, so we have a possible fix. And so within this node, we want to set that checkpoint is being completed. And there's our fix available. And then we have a task for the customer to accept that fix. So I'm just going to add in another checkpoint once this has been uh, completed. And then clicking on the resolution stage, uh, we can add a couple of more checkpoints into this list. So again, add new checkpoint. And I'm just going to flag this one with a checkpoint saying that it's been resolved. And the final one with a final confirmation um, uh, email to the, to the customer or user. And then once our checkpoints are in, we can now save and activate this workflow. So now back in Service Manager, I'm just going to raise a new, uh, a new incident. So we start by selecting the customer, and I'm going to select Anna. And we'll just click on next and uh, slip in a quick uh, summary and description. So battery not charging and battery not charging on a laptop. And we'll just click on next and select a service and raise an incident. And then we're just going to go and view that incident. And now we're in the incident, we'll see across the top, we'll see our three stages that we had to find in that uh, workflow. And then and we see all the checkpoints that we just created. Now to uh, move through the first checkpoint, I'm just going to select the team and assign this to one of the support analysts. And here we'll see that first checkpoint checked off. Mm -hmm.